Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Good morning for us. It's 10 o'clock over here. And yeah. I've just had six or seven meetings from my end. And now we're for you. you. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> early start, 7.30. I don't think we even had, tomorrow I'm starting at 7. So I don't think we even had meetings at ISAF Berlin, you know, face to face so early in the morning. It's true. It's true. No, I've been having an, uh, a slow start today, catching up on some, obviously, posting, um, you know, uh, sharing with people what, what we've been up to over the first, over the past uh, 24 hours, because it's only been... <laughs> it feels like it has been more. <laughs> as always, it's like as it's I Berlin is supposed to feel. But yeah, you'll be doing meetings till nine o'clock this evening then. So yeah, yeah. obviously on and off, doing yeah. some meetings till about nine o'clock. I mean, there are some people who wish to talk to us, catching up with, you know, with colleagues, with, with friends, because at this point they, they, they are industry friends. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's it's nice so far. And how has it been, Lynn, for you? I have been all around the world. I've been to Canada first, and I had a person at that time who was doing his last or the meeting before the last, and it was 10.30 in the evening for him. Then I went to Japan, and it was the afternoon for them. Then I went to Russia, to Barcelona, and back to Canada. And by that time, it was midnight, and this person was on her last meeting with me <laughs> before going. Oh my God, you're making me feel very lazy now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, I've been around the world and this is exactly what I've been thinking all through these meetings. I mean, the person who, who was in Canada first and it was 10.30 in the evening told me he had been having meetings since 5.30 in the morning and he looked tired. But I mean, the fact that the platform is open 24-7, yeah. I think yeah. that is how people are really making use of it and it's what people are appreciating the most. That's, that's the yeah. impression I, I got. And even for us, I mean, as I was saying, in, in Berlin, it, when it's the face-to-face -face event, we usually, out of choice, we usually don't go to the event as early as 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, now we have the opportunity to do that. So I think that's... Because we have the dancing in the evening. Exactly. Yesterday I went, that's what I was saying. I was saying I shouldn't be panicking that tomorrow I have an early start because I'm going to bed much earlier and with... And I would in my head <laughs> um, so it, it's definitely going to be you know a, a more energetic start but yeah I mean in Berlin then when you're meeting people face to face I think it's it's what gets you going and it's what wakes you up in the morning and what wakes everyone up and in many cases, and in many cases even during these networking like we were saying with Corinne during our live last yes, night because it was last night we did have some kind of a semblance of normality because we were having a drink at the virtual Marlena bar with the person that we would normally be having a drink with at the Marlena <laughs> bar in Berlin <laughs> so time. we tried to keep it as as normal as possible um but that's that's exactly what we were saying and another thing that you reminded me of is yes the positive feedback that even mm -hmm. I have been receiving from attendees about the fact that the platform is open 24-7 my last meeting yesterday was at about 8.30 p.m. Um, or 8 o'clock p.m., something of the sort. And it was the same thing for this person. She was ba She's based in the UK and she'd been having meetings all day long since the very beginning. They were all yeah. back to back. You know, we were both looking really, really tired. In fact, I didn't even screenshot that. <laughs> for you know for both our sakes um but that's exactly what she was saying she told me you know mm. it's such a positive thing that the platform is open all the time that i really want to try and make the most of make it the especially most, after yeah. the year we've all had you know exactly. um, so i think this is this is a really really good thing that i mm -hmm. still have done for this event. Um, yeah, I agree. Okay. And even the fact that, I mean, you've got, you get the reminders of how many minutes you have left, yeah. how yeah. soon the, the next meeting will start. There are also some short breaks in between every meeting. So again, you know, being at home, 
it's easier, you know, to go grab a cup of coffee because obviously it's not as busy as, as the bars would be in Berlin. Exactly. Um, so yeah, it's, it's convenient, it's comfortable, I would say, but you manage to yeah. get a lot done during the 24 hours that you have available in the day. So exactly. I think that's overall... Well, I... mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I was going to say what I particularly like about the, the count. First of all, if you stay on the Markom schedule, you see the countdown literally of the time, mm-hmm. like you were saying, that you have left for the meeting. But what I also like is that it's really simple to jump from one meeting to the other. Exactly. So exactly. no running in halls, no looking for tables. You actually have uh, on the Markom schedule itself, you know, the possibility to just Join. click a button join the meeting and you already have the next meeting kind of lined up lined up so exactly when you finish one you can go straight into the other yeah. and especially for those people who are having back to back meetings i mean i'm i'm not having back to back meetings i'm trying to keep the schedule a little bit sparse so so i can also catch up you know with with industry friends what like, like we normally do but for those people who are having back-to-back meetings, it's really good because all they need to do is close Zoom once their meeting finishes, go to the meeting schedule and click on the next uh, button to join the next meeting. Yeah, so agreed, agreed. It's, it's very convenient. And I think it's it's the personal feeling that I've been having and it seems to match the feelings that other parts yeah. have been, service providers, yeah. agents and schools have been having during the meetings uh, that that we've been having something i've been personally asking is how's the event going and every yeah. answer was very positive um from each and every person that that i've met so sort of that's a testimonial for isis on behalf <laughs> of every person that i have met so far and i know the feedback is very positive so. Yeah. So I think with that, for now, we can close this live broadcast. We'll yeah. be same as yesterday. We'll yep. be posting more live broadcasts during the day, pictures and all of that. So stay tuned exactly. on our social media. Um, and yeah, we'll keep you posted, especially if you're not attending the event. So you'll know what, what it's been like this year. Exactly. Exactly. So and in any case, ISEF have other virtual events coming up before this year is over. So there's always the time to um, to get in touch with the people there to register for any upcoming events. Exactly. So don't miss that opportunity. Exactly. Thank you, Lou. And Thank now it's much. my turn to get into the meetings. <laughs> you take a break now. <laughs> take care of okay. Bye. Bye.